Hello, today I've got two Spanish white wines which I bought in Waitrose and one of them is by Gonzalo's Bias, better known for the showies and they've produced a Verdeo from 2023 it's 13% and its brand name is Baronia and it comes from a district called Ruida okay it doesn't tell you what the grapes are it's vegan so this should be pretty refreshing and all-round foodie wine and then this one is CVN Rioja barrel fermented 2022 this is 13% as well and this one's actually telling me that it's spent four months in American oak and the grape in that one I believe is Viura so without further ado let's get opening now what i've chosen here is two different glass styles okay and i just want to see if these two wines perform differently in different glasses which they may well do you know so here's the rueda video cheers I'm going to have um, a prawn omelette later and also some whitefish and king prawns even later. So this is pretty exciting, the CVN Rioja, to see how a white Rioja balances. I think these are going to be great fish wines, you know, I've obviously chosen them particularly with that sort of view in mind so we're looking very very golden and a much paler sort of pattern and pear for this one let's give this one a go this is the Veronia and Gonzales very subdued looks almost sort of ice looks really very full nose of sort of spice, fruit, mineral, which is surprising for the style, I think. Well, there's a lot in that wine, and yeah, it's pretty spicy for a white wine. That's pretty amazing, and let's see if it's different in this glass. much more mineral notes in this one very subdued color this it's not vibrant you know it doesn't have a great deal of taste in that shape of glass at all but in this one it really comes across with a back kick it's like kissing a mule that one so this, this style of glass, much better for this particular wine. Now let's see how the Rioja compares. So here is a fantastic golden apple looks. Well, you can so, so smell the oak. In a, if I was literally blind testing, I wouldn't even know that that was red on the nose. I mean white, because it smells like red. Yeah, that's got a pretty exciting nose. Let's see how it goes. I think there's just too much oak in there, really. It's not well balanced. Probably because it's a 2022 and it might need another, say, three or four years in the bottle. I'm not really sure. Don't get me wrong. Fantastic wine. Really fantastic. But... It's not giving me an enormously good balance. Okay, and there's a lot of oak on the nose, but there is more promise actually in this one. A bit of sea grass and ostrich feathers, you know. I actually much prefer this wine in this glass because 
this glass isn't throwing out a whole load of flavour to me, so I'm getting a lot more than just the oak. This is my top recommendation. Just try different glasses for different wines. You know, just for goodness sake, give it a go. You just don't know. There's no way I could have told beforehand which glass was going to suit these, you know, wines best. This one is definitely best for the Badea. But this one is much, much better. It's given me a lot of...